Hi everyone, uh, Chris Faust again. What we're going to do really quick is go through uh, the preferences side of your QR code. So we've got your QR code set up. We've already done the process of putting the logo on our QR code. Now the next thing that we're going to do is go to preferences. When we go into preferences, we have a few options that we can do. We can shorten um, our encoded URL or use a vanity URL. If we wanted to use a vanity URL, all this is saying is that we can add an extension uh, to the end of the ID. So, in a sense, you have you can put in your business name, your company name, and, and when people go to this URL, they're still going to see that it's your company name uh, that's included with it. So it's kind of a vanity uh, type usage. And then, of course, we can shorten the URL. However, the thing is, is that when you click on one of these. Uh, you cannot get back to the other one. Uh, the URL options, if we wanted to shorten our URL, uh, which is like using a bit.ly uh, process, we cannot then use a vanity URL. So you got to choose one or the other. So once you choose one, the other one goes away. So if we were to choose shorten um, the URL, that option goes away, or the vanity URL goes away. So it's one or the other, but you can shorten your URL, which makes your QR code actually smaller. And then we also have the option to use the vanity URL, which is uh, putting your business name at the end of the URL and then updating the QR code. So we do have that option. Now, the next thing, as we see here in our preferences, you can uh, email archived reports. So we can set this to run daily, weekly, monthly, or if we never wanted to uh, send us anything, we can choose that as well, too. The next thing is if we wanted to have live scan alerts be sent to us uh, via email, this notification, what this is going to do is every 10th scan, 50th, 100th, you can see right here, every time it's scanned, it's going to send up to this point, it's going to send you a notification. So it's going to send you an alert saying, okay, you've reached uh, 10 scans on your QR code. Okay, now you've reached, uh, you know, and it's every 10th one. So you can do every 50th, every 100th, every 500th, and so on and so forth. Or you can just choose never. Or you can not even choose it at all, just don't, don't select it and it won't even uh, be populated. Now, enable geo-tracking. This is really important because we're not actually, a lot of people get confused. They think that a QR code with our system, you can literally go into somebody's phone and grab their information and you can get things like names and phone numbers and uh, GPS locations. That's not the case at all. As a matter of fact, we cannot do that. Um, the technology doesn't let us do that. And then also, uh, there are some privacy rules and regulations through the FCC that we cannot do that. So what we have, what we have here is to enable geo-tracking. What this does is, through the process with Google Maps, what we can do is say, would you like to share your location? Now that's prompted before um, the, the person who's scanning your QR code goes to your website. So they can always choose yes or no. If they choose yes, they're going to be opting in uh, to share their, their geographical location through the GPS in their phone. And then you will get that as a report. Uh, however, they can choose no as well too. So you can't have people that choose no and you will not have that information. The next thing is going to be uh, multiple goal tracking. We have a user engagement code that we'll go over here really quick, but the user engagement code is going to be placed into certain pages of your website. When you want to track how far people go into your website from your QR code, you want to track how many people went to the About Us page, how many people went to our services page, how many people landed on the contact page, then you want to type in here as a goal um, the actual page. So, for example, we wanted uh, qrpath.com slash contact. Now, if we had, uh, if we wanted that tracking right here, if we wanted that as a goal, we could do that. We could add that, that URL in here. Now, let's say we wanted to um, put in so now we got our about page. So once we have our user engagement uh, code set up on our website on these specific pages, the system's going to remember that this is a goal for us and then it's going to track that as well and let us know, hey, your goal was reached. Somebody went to your about page. Somebody went to your contact page. 
or you could choose to not have these as a goal but you still need the user engagement code in order to track the amount of time that people have been on your website uh, which pages they viewed uh, and uh, went where they bounced off at so that's that's really important for the system to still remember that uh, and track that for you now the next thing that we're going to do is track creatives. This is something that's an internal thing. You can load um, a specific marketing piece for this QR code and then internally we're going to track the marketing pieces. Um, it's just a, a very simple way of visually tracking uh, certain projects that you've done. The user engagement code. This is the code that I was just talking about when we were uh, looking at this multiple goal tracking this code needs to be put into your HTML um, on your pages so whether you're gonna put it in at like a um, a page that's or a, a part of the code that goes universally to all pages or that could be like a footer or a header or if you're gonna put it in um, to each individual page uh, based on however you have your website set up this is not gonna work in flash uh, Flash is not going to be tracked because Flash is a movie. It's actually not um, an, a coded page itself. It is a video movie that's being played. So uh, you cannot use this in Flash. You cannot track deeper into Flash. You can track, though, into HTML pages. You can track, uh, obviously, PHP pages, ASP pages. Um, all of those can be set up because if you put this into the actual page that you want, like the About Us, Contact Us, uh, our services page this is going to let you know when that QR code is scanned and then when somebody goes through there now remember it has a unique ID right here sorry about that it has a unique ID built in there so this QR code which creates this unique ID we're tracking that QR code specifically if you put another QR code that you want to track how far that goes into your website you're gonna have to do it a separate one with that ID locked into it just like this one here. It's just very important. Now the final thing which is really uh, a, a very um, slick way of tracking uh, is integrated into QR Path. What we can do is set up these links for um, other campaigns. Same campaign, same location that it's going to, just other links to it. SMS, email, Facebook, Twitter, and then you have uh, an optional other link. Okay, here's what these are used for. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you had a uh, convention that was coming up. You have this convention, and you have a QR code at the convention, and it says download the latest uh, PDF uh, file for all of our vendors at the convention. So that way, people can scan it. They can download a PDF document, or they can download a specific document that tells them what the updated vendor list is. Well now let's say you also since you know vendor lists can change at a moment's notice you also sent out a mass email. You also told everybody on your Facebook. You also told everybody on Twitter. Well right here what we can do is use these links to go to that specific item that you're linking to with the QR code. Because what we're doing is we're tracking it, we're going to track it separately as a link to the item. Then we're going to give you a report that details how many people clicked on the link for email, how many people clicked on it through your Facebook, how many did through Twitter. Then we're going to compare it to the QR code. How many people scanned the QR code at the convention to get the updated list versus clicked on Facebook versus clicked on uh, the email that went out to everybody. So you can have literally uh, uh, multiple ways of getting your information out to your clients to um, you know your your list your email list your Facebook list that people that are going to be attending uh, your conference you know or uh, people that are, are going to attend a meeting this is a way to make sure that everybody clicks the link scans the QR code nobody misses out on something and you can get the reports that show the individual tracking of all of these. So these are uh, what are set up in your preferences here uh, after you have your QR code set up. So we set up our QR code, we just go to our preferences, and that's how we get there.
And that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much. If you need more tutorials, qrpath.com slash tutorials will give you more tutorials how to use uh, your back-end administrative system. Thank you so much.